dear viewers this is yet another series on expert speaks we have an expert to talk about the chosen subject today the topic that i have taken for discussion today is education loan scheme developed by indian banks association this is nri money clinic for you and i am dr chandra khan but your financial guide for a happy living nri money clinic no hype just the right advice dear viewers we here at nri money clinic are trying to solve many of the problems faced by the nri community we are in a position to solve the problems faced by this community here in india but our nri community has lots of questions lots of problems in the countries where they are living if you are a professional who is working in us canada uk ireland eurozone singapore australia japan hong kong china or any other countries where you have an nra community you have a chance to appear on our channel if you are one of the professionals chartered public accountant a tax specialist financial planner or advisors in any other financial field then probably we have an interest in you and you get a chance to appear on our channel if you are interested to appear on our channel to discuss the problems faced by the nra community in your respective countries please send us a whatsapp message on the number shown here on the screen we'll get in touch with you and we explore the possibilities of associating with you dear viewers to talk about the subject of education loan scheme developed by indian banks association i have brought to the studios my popular faculty mr vasan shetty mr vasan shetty is a popular banker a banker with more than 35 years of experience he recently retired from kenra bank as the assistant general manager man who specializes in credit appraisals a popular man in the banking circles he has done other videos on our channel hopefully you would have seen his other videos as well if you have not we'll be giving a link to a couple of his videos here make sure you watch the other videos as well welcome to this show mr vasan shetty thank you sir thank you uh mr vasan shetty yes uh i have seen you discussing uh, yes. about this uh, education loan scheme developed by indian banks association mm. can you tell me yeah what is this indian banks association uh. which banks come under it yeah. and what is the objective of uh, developing this particular scheme by this iba yeah see this indian banks association has developed a model education scheme it is called as iba model education scheme to be implemented among almost all nationalized bank even private sector banks also they can follow but nationalized banks all nationalized banks are following the model uh, education loans guidelines adopted by indian bank association the main objective of the indian bank education loan is financial support from the bank to a needy student poor student to pursue higher education both in india and in abroad and moreover meritorious student though he is poor he cannot deprive of the education because of the financial problem and providing financial assistance from the bank to the needy student with affordable terms and condition these are the main objectives of the iba model education scheme means nobody should deprived of the higher education only for lack of funds and all this is the main idea behind the iba draft education loan scheme it's a real noble scheme yeah, that yeah, has yeah, been drafted yeah, and yeah. there are so many people who yeah. don't have the means to a uh, fine funds right. for the yeah. education it's an absolutely a novel scheme novel that has scheme. been drafted yeah. now who all are the students who yeah. are eligible to avail uh, education loan under this scheme yeah it's those students who have secured admission from the recognized college or university they are eligible for education loan those students who have passed through the cat gmat or uh, cet they are eligible for the education loan and those who are not approached for any other selection process they can on merit based on the mask based college has given an uh, admission then they are eligible for the education loan scheme student should be an indian in national and his parents or guardian should be the joint borrower or co borrower in case parents or guardians are not then legally accepted guardians also can be accepted there is no age limit for eligibility these are some of the eligible condition to avail education loan both in india as well as abroad for the students see yes. one point that you told is <coughs> any meritorious student can yeah. avail this loan yes who is a meritorious student see meritorious student means those who are getting admission in a particular college for the technical or professional course 
and even though marks is the not criteria in this case on the basis of admission letter got by the student colleges can given banks can give the education loan to such a student then he is a meritorious even though marks is the not the criteria for this thing even this uh, student who has not uh, gone to the particular uh, type of selection process then only the marks questions will come that already in the last episode i told 60% marks for the general students 50% for sc st and girl students otherwise meritorious student means those who have selected by the uh, institution for a higher studies so if i understood you correctly yeah so description of meritorious student is you have got an admission, admission. through a Only selection through process selection through a selection process, process. yes very then simple. there is no question of marks marks criteria. no question of marks even if you have not gone through a selection process process and an institution yeah, has yeah. given you a seat seat in that case marks criteria the, the marks criteria will follow yes. how much is yes. the marks criteria the banks will look at yeah 60% for the general category students 50% for sc st and 50% for girl students that's the minimum marks okay now coming to the specifics of this uh, loan yeah how much loan can be sanctioned yeah or what is the criteria uh, okay the bank will say i will give you so much money yeah or is there any guidelines for how much loan a student can take yeah actually there is no maximum limit criteria it is need based no maximum limit but in some courses but some banks have fixed some limit for example in case of uh, indian school of business isbs it is maximum loan amount is 40 lakhs in case of iams it is 25 lakhs or all other courses of iams the maximum amount is 20 lakhs and here only up to the case of uh, education loan of rupees 4 lakhs there should not be any margin from the student side margin is nil if the cost of the course is 4 lakh entire 4 lakhs will be financed by the bank in case this is inland studies i am talking about in case cost of the estimated cost of the course is more than 4 lakhs then student has to bear 5% margin from his own sources or from the parent if it is studies abroad up to 4 lakh there also nil margin above 4 lakhs then only that 15% margin question is coming uh, when you say margin yeah. that means if the cost of uh, education is 1 yeah. lakh a portion has to be funded from their resources yeah. the remaining the bank will fund it yeah up to 1 lakh that man no question of margin no, only up to 4 lakh like, this is an example yeah, correct that's, okay, an, okay, that's okay, an example okay, okay sir so if a person is not having a good amount of cash which he has developed to for funding the education yeah. if you have got the margin money yeah. the rest will be funded by the bank ah. that's a, that's a great help uh, yeah, 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 for correct, the correct, for correct, the needy correct, student correct. right so uh, the parents can make use of the Up funds to that 7.5 lakhs no only margin is sufficient above 7.5 lakhs separate norm security will be there almost all banks as for the iba model education loan up to 7.5 lakh no problem see uh, mr shetty these days the education has become a kind of a bubble <coughs> yes different institutes charge different fee structures Fee-stuck, all yes. these things are yeah, there yeah but how banks will protect their interest hmm. is it given okay you i'll take the signature and i'll give you the loan or is there a collateral security that has to be furnished yes, by yes, yes, uh, yes. the borrower at this point of time yeah. see when you say borrower the student is a borrower yeah. he has yeah. just got into his adulthood now mm, yeah. uh, so where yeah. will he bring security from how yeah. that particular problem will be solved yeah see in case of education loans more than 7.5 lakh collateral security equivalent to 100% of the loan amount plus margin to be provided by the student or parents in case of some cases management quota also they are giving the loans in that case management quota seats above 4 lakhs they have to give 100% collateral security including margin otherwise up to 7.5 lakhs absolutely no question of security only assignment of future income of the student and parent should be the co borrower and assignment of the future income these are the only security no other tangible collateral security is not required only in case of above 7.5 lakh collateral security question will come okay so some kind of a collateral security will be required if you yeah. are taking a higher level of education loan yeah yeah Uh, the collateral security yeah. can come uh, in the <coughs> form of parental house or parental some property any other, even uh, agricultural any, property also okay for yeah. education loans uh, that can be considered yeah. so normally yeah. the banks will not take agricultural uh, uh, yeah, property, uh, property as, as collateral, collateral but in case of education, education loan, loan yeah looking at the seriousness yes, of the yes, issue yeah. even uh, agriculture land can be given can as so be taken or taken yes, as a collateral yes, yes. 
one other question is we yeah. talk about the education funding and the expenses yeah when we talk about the education funding the uh. thing that comes to our mind is the tuition fee yeah but in today's world yeah tuition fee is a small portion of tuition, education yeah. funding yeah there are costs like computers yeah. Uh, books yeah. Yeah. memberships yeah. coming and going living expenses in yeah. another yeah. city yeah what all the things that can be covered under yeah. the head education yeah. loans the expenses covered under the education loans are one is fees payable to college hostel or uh, boarding expenses then examination fees library fees laboratory fees etc and third one is in case that education loan borrower is insured the insurance cost also will be as a part of loan a particular 20 lakh loan is given he should be insured for some 25 or 30 lakhs the cost of premium is also a project cost in case of education loan then purchase of books equipments instruments uniforms and computers caution deposit building fund deposit and all other expenses wherever required for uniform and uh, study tour etc will be covered under education loan almost all expenses but uh, only thing capitation and donation paid to the college will not be covered capitation and donation that will not be covered that will not be covered yes okay uh, mr shetty this is a priority sector kind yeah, of a yeah, thing, education yeah. loan are these students have any special favor when they yeah. take this loan or yeah. they are treated as anybody else yeah. uh, as a commercial borrowers yes there are some special favors to the education loan students in case of girl students some banks are giving concession of 0.5% concession in interest rate and second one in case of education loan if the student service the interest during the course period during this educational period then they are getting 0.5% interest and there is no processing charges uh. recently some modification has come in case of some banks up to 7.5 lakh there is no processing charges above 7.5 lakhs 0.5% of the loan amount or minimum of 1000 maximum 10000 like that is there some specialist schemes for technical courses there should not be any processing charges and only thing 100% uh, <coughs> waiver in the charges also permitted that but bankers have to take the permission from their next higher authority that's the conditions for the waiver of 100% processing charges otherwise absolutely up to 7.5 lakh there should not be any processing charges or any kind of fee okay see uh, i have seen one issue mm -hmm. which frequently comes up yeah that is somebody joins a college yeah and subsequently there is a cost escalation yes happens. yes uh, it can happen because of change of fee structure yeah. or inflation or uh, somebody who is studying yeah. abroad suddenly rupee depreciation happening yeah. all calculations can go for uh, haywire at yeah. that moment how can the banks help are there has these things has been taken into consideration whether while designing the scheme yes. what can somebody will do See, about it top up loans can also be considered in case of escalation in the cost of education for example in case of abroad studies rupee appreciates or depreciates cost of project will change in case of uh, inland studies also cost of computers and some other educational expenses some laptops or something not included at the time of taking education this can be financed subsequently as a top up loan second loan it is not uh, combined with the first loan second loan but there is some limit among almost all banks you cannot give 50 percent of first loan you have some limit 25 percent or 15 percent of the original education loan so up to that 15 or 25 percent can be, be given in case of foreign education it is uh, depending upon the rupee appreciation depreciation as already i have told in case rupee appreciates then the education loan quantum will reduce and earlier at the time of granting of loan bank will sanction the education loan to study abroad on the basis of national rate or something but in case of top up loan they will calculate the rate at the rate of at the date of sanction of the loan or date of converting that uh, rupee equivalent into foreign currency these are the top up loans available in almost all banks uh, mr vasan shetty see now you have told us about uh, these education loans yes uh, there are pot potential chances of somebody misusing the money in this. Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's a very liberal scheme, subsidized uh, thing, uh, subsidized interest is available. Uh, let's say somebody got a 25 lakh loan. Now. Yeah. Uh, how will the banks ensure that this money is not misutilized? Yes. So you just release it to his bank account. No, no. How the whole system works? No, no, no. It is not like that. Banks will take an estimate at a time of sanction of education loan. Each year, what is the cost of the course? Okay. For in case of engineering, means four years, year-wise bifurcation of the expenses. 
what is the cost of tuition fee what is the cost of education fee library fee other fee like that estimated expenses will be taken by the each bank taken by each bank in case of foreign education also foreign universities are giving the bifurcation of expenses and banks what they will do they will release the amount on year on year basis this year first year of the course what is the approximate expenses this will be directly sent to the university or college not they will not give the money into the hands of the boy yeah. or student they will directly send to the college so that monitoring is very easy colleges also they will send that uh, receipt to the particular uh, bank bank only not to the not they will not give it to the student so that follow up they cannot take the money and uh, it will be credited to their account they cannot uh, withdraw the money from the bank it is directly to the college authorities in case of books it should be the book sellers like the direct air ticket or directly to the air travel agents and they will not give a small pocket money in case of abroad education they are giving in the hand of the student other is absolutely almost all payments even boarding expenses living expenses all are directly to the hostel authorities or college authorities or that paying guest accommodation is there means for them only no direct cash payment will be made to the student so there is no scope yeah. for students so, so, to yeah. misuse uh, the funds, uh, the funds here. absolutely there is no so the loan gets sanctioned yeah and uh, there is a order to which yeah. it gets released uh, yeah. year 1 year 2 yeah, year 3 yeah. whatever it is which yeah. has been agreed yeah. upon yeah. and it will go to the specific institutions or specific service providers so, yeah. as and when uh, yes, those and services when are obtained obtain, maybe a purchase yes. of computer correct, correct, correct. a payment of tuition fees or something yes. like that yes uh, now you told about uh, all these points of this education loan a question that arises in the mind of a student is what documents are required to yeah. apply for this uh, education, education loan, loan? yeah see documents there are some preliminary document to be submitted by the student along with the application in case of vidya lakshmi portal that application will directly come to the bank bank will contact the student and ask for the documents all kyc document your pan card aadhar card and uh, your phone number to be given to the bank in case student doesn't have pan card there is a time limit about 6 months time they will give within 6 months he has to approve the authority for getting the pan card or aadhar card whatever may be in case he has not submitted the pan card or aadhar card during the next first uh, disbursement they will do in case next is uh, disbursement also he has not uh, given the uh, kyc document disbursement will be stopped till submission of the kyc document and in case of student they have to submit their previous qualifying examination marks card then estimated expenses about the estimated expenses they have to submit a letter from the college or universities for foreign education anyway visa and uh, your uh, i20 forms i20 means estimate of expenses at foreign university these are the some of the major document and uh, in case of uh, inland education A student has to submit father's income certificate father's income proof from the revenue authorities or if it is an income tax authority income tax returns can be submitted by the student in some of the families uh, one problem that might come is yeah now the one child gets an education yes, loan yes within next 2 or 3 years there is another child which is ready for education, education in yes. some families there yeah. can be more than two yeah, children yeah, but yeah. these days Yeah. such incidences are coming down but yes. there could be a possibility yeah is there a problem for the second child or the third child mm. if the first child has taken an education no. loan because the parent is a, a joint borrower yeah will it create a problem for the second no, or no, third no, child no. it is each child will be treated as a separate unit for example first son they have given one loan he can go for the second loan also in that case his limit will be aggregated the first child whatever he has taken for the graduation post graduation will be uh, aggregated the second child is separate unit his loan will not be aggregated among the uh, first child there is no limit for uh, giving only one uh, child in the family there is no such limitation banks can grant even uh, two three children or three, three children also it will be separate there is aggregation of limit among the even though father is the same guarantor or obligant the, the limit will not be aggregated each student it will be a separate limit for the bank our dear viewers you could be having several doubts in your mind or you could be facing several problems when you are trying to get an education loan if you have any queries if you have any suggestions if you want answers for any particular problem that you might be facing please put that in the comment section below we will read through the comments we'll ask the faculty in our future videos how such problems can be sorted out so when you speak about these problems that you face 
that is the time we'll come to know what exactly is the practical problems faced by students as well as the parents do comment below uh, so mr shetty now this education yeah. loan is done yeah they have completed education yes purpose is served yes when should they come and pay back the amount yeah uh, what does the loan condition say about it yeah, yeah. see this repayment of education loan will be in equated monthly installment after completion of course period plus one year moratorium in case student get the job within that one year moratorium period immediately after six months of completing his education repayment will start repayment will be maximum period of 15 years with a monthly emi that uh, the time of fixing the repayment bank will add principal amount plus interest interest till moratorium is simple interest it will be aggregated it will be made together and separate repayment will be fixed for the entire loan plus uh, interest so that uh, boy should have to pay the loan within 15 years after completion of his moratorium period in case student discontinues the course then only bank will uh, fix a separate repayment course and in case student failed also additional two years moratorium will be given in case student failed or in case carry over system is there in some engineering or some medical courses education loan disbursement will be continued and that uh, whatever that additional two year period they can take up the benefit under for the repayment okay so you said there is a 15 years uh, yeah. time period which is yeah. available yes who decides this 15 years? Is the bank will uh, just yeah, say that it, I'll, I'll put yeah, 15 yeah, years or the bank will ask me uh, how, much, how many years you want yeah, to pay yeah, this, this loan with? This IBA model education loan is maximum 15 years. Some students, they are having the capacity or parents having the capacity, they can take up the lesser uh, repayment period also. Moreover, prepayment penalty is not there in education. Ah, that's loans. a good one. Prepayment penalty is not there. Even student having sufficient funds, they can pay back immediately whenever they got sufficient source for repayment. And moreover, some students are asked for a telescopic uh, repayment. What he is a telescopic payment? Uh, yeah, telescopic payment means he initially his income is less. After some year, he will get more income. Initially, his repayment capacity is small. And after three or four years, he will get some higher salary. He can pay a little higher amount. So small to bigger, small installment earlier. And it will increase year after year. Like that, telescopic rep repayment period also can be fixed as per the uh, request of the student. So it's a fantastic scheme. Yeah, yeah, See, yes, you can yes. come back and pay over a period yeah. of 15 years. Yeah. That's pretty long. And sir, in, in this case, one more thing. If student takes an education phone or in, for first course, engineering or medical or something, if he continues the education for the second, uh, this in post-graduation, then automatically the loan repayment period will be postponed. So that repayment period will commence after completion of the course plus one year moratorium from the completion of the second course okay second course first uh, education loan first degree education loan will be postponed what students should uh, make note of here is now you are a graduate and you have taken up the job you don't have any other responsibilities you should make best efforts to clear this loan at the earliest possible before you get into the family responsibilities timely clearance of <coughs> loans will help some other student to get a loan in further years. So this will all go a long way in designing better schemes for the rest of the students in the future years. Please discharge your responsibilities. You have taken a loan and it's the public money and come back when you get a job and pay to the banking institutions whatever the loans that you have taken. Uh, Mr. Shetty, thank you very much for bringing for the benefit of our parents and the students the different provisions of the education loan designed by Indian yes. Banking Association. Association. Needless to say, it's a great help for anyone who is looking to pursue his education. I don't have the money. That question need not bother you. Yes. Thank you very much for bringing all these points for the benefit and a big, big thank you to you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, dear viewers, hope the episode that I have done today helped you to understand what are the provisions of education loan scheme designed by Indian Banking Association, how you can get benefited. Parents should know that if you have not accumulated sufficient enough amount of money to fund your children's education, their education need not stop. You can make best use of this liberal scheme which is available from the public sector bank and let your children study in the courses and in the institution wherever they want to study if it helped you to understand all these points please like this video if you are a person 
who is watching this channel for the first time or if you are yet to subscribe for the channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon don't forget to share this video with all the people who might get benefited from this video thank you very much for watching this episode on nri money clinic i shall be back with you with yet another topic in yet another video <coughs> very very soon press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel